Hello folks, we have been seeing how to manage our Elasticsearch cluster. We saw how to create it, how to take a manual snapshot and then restore from our manual snapshots. Sometimes it is necessary that you need to delete your indices also. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to delete some indices or all your indices from your Elasticsearch cluster. Let us say you have an Elasticsearch cluster and like me, you have a lot of indices here. You can see here, there's a quite a lot of indices and I have also installed the plugin so that we can see here, I have connected to my database uh, that is Elasticsearch cluster and you can see here, there's quite a lot of indices there and I don't want so many of them and I want to delete a particular one. So let us say I want to delete this particular one. What, how should I do that? So if you go to my GitHub article, I'm, I've written the command that is necessary to delete your uh, snapshots. So here it is. And if you want to delete a particular snapshot, that is only one, all you have to do is change this URL to your uh, Elasticsearch cluster domain name followed by my index. So in this case, we decided that we are going to delete uh, August 19th. So I'm just going to copy this. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this URL and then I'm going to modify it and put it into my AWS CLI. So let us paste in our command. Here we are. And this is my cluster URL followed by the index that I want to delete. So let us go ahead and delete that. So it just takes a uh, five, 10 seconds, depends upon how big is your cluster or how distributed is your cluster. So usually it happens immediately for me because my cluster is not so big. So if you have a bigger cluster, it might take more time. Let us go ahead and check it in our dashboard now. I'm just going to go ahead and refresh my screen to see whether this one is still there. So the first one that is August 19th is gone. So if I go ahead and put in CWL 2018-08 and so our uh, index for August 19th is gone. Likewise, I can go ahead and delete all the indexes, but sometimes if you want to delete the entire index itself, all you have to do is just replace the index name and give underscore all. It is going to delete all our indexes. So let us go ahead and see if like, we can delete all of them. So I have all these indices there. I'm just going to delete them now. So let us go ahead and say underscore all followed by the single quote and it will accept my request and it is going to go ahead and delete it in the background. So let us go ahead and check it in the Elasticsearch head plugin. So let us refresh our screen. If everything is gone, it should be blank now. So there we go. Nothing is here. I'm just going to go to my Elasticsearch dashboard here and going to refresh my screen. And you can see here, all my indices are gone. So that is how you delete all the indices or some of the indices. So typically what happens or why you need to do this is uh, uh, people create an index for every single day and then keep on rolling from that point onwards. They don't accumulate their indexes because once their uh, analysis is done, they can store the data back into S3 and import it back into the cluster only when it is required to do some processing. Otherwise, the data is there always in the archival storage or a long-term storage. You don't have to have the indices uh, loaded into your Elasticsearch cluster. Uh, this is a, both a performance improvement uh, as well as a cost management strategy. So if you have any trouble in putting in that into your cluster or removing it from your cluster, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I hope all these three videos were helpful in managing your clusters. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.